Hello friends, this video on determinant part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. Property says that if each and every element of a row or a column, one of these, is multiplied by a constant k, then the determinant value is also multiplied by k. For example, if this is my determinant, I multiply all this guy row, all this element in this row with k, I get this determinant. So in this case, the relation will be something like this, k into the first determinant is nothing but second determinant. Why? Because here you multiplied all the elements with k, the row, all the elements of this row 1. To prove, we can very well prove this, just find determinant of this and find determinant of this you will find that it's a k multiple. I'll show you if you want. Let's find this guy first. Take first element a1, a1 into b2 c3 minus b3 c2 minus b1, next element, into a2 c3 minus a3 c2 plus c1 c1 into a2 b3 minus a3 b2. I did this pretty fast because we know how to do it. We have done this. You take first element a1 into b2 c3 minus c3 b2. Second you take b1. You can't take this guy. So you have to take these elements only. a2 c3 minus a3 c2. You take c1. You can't take row 1 and column 3. You take these four elements a2 b3 minus b2 a3. Similarly for this guy, row 1, what you get here, same thing I'll do here, I'll take this guy first, this becomes k a1 into, same thing b2 c3 minus b3 c2, b2 c3 minus b3 c2, minus, this guy will be minus, second element, minus k b1 into, if you take this guy, you can't take this uh, column, you take 1, 2, 3, 4 element, a2 c2 and a3, 3c3 so a2 c3 minus a3 c2 so a2 c3 minus a3 c2 plus this element now kc1 again you take kc1 you can't take this column third column you can't take this row four elements a2 b2 a3 c3 so you have to be a2 b3 minus a3 b2 a2 b3 minus a3 so what you can observe this, this guy is nothing but k, you take out common, common because everything has a k, same thing, a1, b2, c3, minus b3, c2, minus b1 into a2, c3, minus a3, c2, plus c1 into a2, b3, minus a3, b2. So what you can see this, this is nothing but k into the whole thing is equal to this guy. So what do you have proved that? Determinant 1 is nothing but k into whole determinant. And that's what we have proved. So the logic here is if you multiply a particular row or a particular column with a constant, all the elements of a row or a particular column with a constant, then determinant is also multiplied with that row or with that constant. It's take a note. By this property, we can take out any common factor from any row or any column of a given determinant. Also, if the corresponding elements of rows or columns are proportional, then also it value will be zero. I'll tell you how. The first is clear. If you have a common element in row, you can take out that and divide that or take out that as common factor. The second one, the example is if you have this kind of uh, scenario where if you see uh, the elements are proportional this guy is proportional to this guy or I'll just say row 1 is proportional to row 2 why because row 2 is nothing but oh sorry row 3 is nothing but k into row 1 to take any element of this a1 k1 a2 k2 a3 k3 such kind of thing is also zero how see using this first property I can say that this guy is nothing but I'll take k common out. Why? Because all these elements have 
all the elements in row 3 have k so i'll take k1 out row 1 and row 2 will be unchanged but row 3 every element will be divided by k so k a1 by k is a1 k a2 by k is a2 and k a3 by k is a3 this is what i get now after after taking this k out i saw that this guy and this guy are same since this guy are identical this is zero this becomes zero so what we have seen that now now we have got an enhanced version of the earlier property the property says that if two rows or two columns are identical then it is zero but now it says that if the corresponding element of two rows or two columns are proportional not even equal even if they are proportional then the determinant value is zero so with this property we got by merging property earlier two properties you merge earlier two properties property two and three you get this property is just a byproduct of two property you add the property to get another property that is if corresponding elements of rows or columns are proportional then also the determinant value is zero let's solve some example property four so we have to prove that this determinant is equal to 4a square b square c square now it looks complex to me because so many a square b square c square terms so if i try to expand this if i try to expand this i can still find the answer but i'll have to do a lot of calculation what i can observe here is all the elements in this first row have a common all the elements in this row second row has b column and all the elements in this row has c column so i can take a b c out so my lhs will become i'll take a b c out column so i'll divide all the elements in the first row by a this becomes minus a square by a is a a b by a is b a c by a is c this guy divide by b because this guy has b column so this becomes b a by b is a minus b square by b is minus b and b c by b is c Similarly, in this guy we have c column common so c a by c is a c b by c is b and minus c square by c is minus c this is what i've got now again i observe that this guy has a column this guy has b common and this guy has c common or this column so let me take out this value also so it will be a b c into a b c because a b c already took out a common so minus a by a is minus 1 a by a is 1 a by a is 1 here b by b is 1 minus b by b is minus 1 and b by b is 1 here c by c is 1 c by c is 1 and minus c by c is minus 1 so this is what i have got so till now what i have got i have got a square b square c square into this determinant now solving this is much more simpler than solving this guy correct so we can just solve this guy and get the answer even uh, we can simplify this further but for that we need some other property which we'll learn later maybe in the next uh, slide or next couple of slides but as of now we don't know this property so let's just solve this guy so if you solve this guy this comes out to be this is a square b square c square into I'll take this guy first minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 again minus why it's minus because this is second element here i plus j is odd 1 into if you take this element you will take this this guy and this guy so 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 and 1 into 1 is again 1 so minus 1 plus I'll take this guy now plus 1 into to take this guy, I will take these elements. 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 minus 1. Correct? So this is nothing but a square b square c square into 1 minus 1 is 0 gone. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 into minus 1 is 2. Plus 1 into this becomes 1 plus 1. Because 1 minus minus 1 is 1 plus 1. 2, 2 into 1 is 2. So this becomes 2 plus 2. This is nothing but 4a square 
b squared c squared and that is my answer so what i have seen using properties i uh, i converted this complex determinant into simpler determinant and then i solved it thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again